Okay, so it's now time for the uh, winch and um, time to get it in there. So I'm going to leave the box here on top. Uh, that way it'll be easier for me to reach in here and connect my uh, remote in there. Uh, one of the things I want to point out, your roller fair lead. Put that on first because it'll be harder to put that in if you install this. You've got the uh, this box. Now you could relocate it to the side, but just judging by the distance, which is 17 inches across just from that bolt point, I'm thinking that I don't have enough room to get my hand in here if I had to, uh, if I mounted it there. So I'm going to just leave it right here on top and uh, uh, when I install that. Now, the other thing I want to point out as well, wire this stuff up before you put it in. It'll make it like your life so much easier. <clears throat> so when you're wiring this up, uh, they kind of give you a wiring schematic, which I'll show you in a minute, but they also make it pretty easy. You have these rubber boots. So you have a red boot here, and right there, you have a red, uh, seat right there. So that's where that goes. You've got a yellow seat here And that's where you put the yellow boot. You've got a black seat Right there, and that's where you put the uh, the black one there So they kind of make it to where it's kind of uh, Where you can't really screw it up. You've got your other long black lead uh, For your ground and that's going to go to the battery There that's where that cable right there and then you've got your red lead here, which is going to also go to the battery. So I'm going to wire that all up and uh, start putting that all in. Okay, so I've got it all wired up here. Uh, I've got all my connections on. I just tied them together to kind of keep them nice and neat. I laid out all my mounting hardware so I can uh, make sure that it's all here. I've got my roller flare lead there. And what I did is, is I put some paper towels inside of this, uh, the tray here for the uh, bumper. That way, uh, I'm not scratching it all up as I try to get the winch in place. Once I get it in place, I just lift it up and pull the towel out. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mount that roller fair lead. Uh, once it's mounted, then uh, I'll be ready to put the, the winch in. Okay, I'm back, and uh, <laughs> I had some issues. Okay, so we're going to learn from my issues. First thing I'm going to say is never try to put your winch in. Okay, I'm back again. So what happened was, was my camera ran out of batteries just as I was filming that segment. So I'm going to fill it in with some photographs that I took. So as you can see here, I've got the winch in, and what I was saying was to never put that winch in with the cable on. I ran into so many problems trying to do that and keep the cable from unraveling. So I should have took it off and I didn't and I paid the price because I scratched my bumper all up and I had to touch up the paint. So one of the things that uh, I also want to point out was the uh, control box on the top. Now, uh, U.S. Off-Road says that you can relocate that uh, control box anywhere if you get extended cables or whatever, and that is possible to do. Um, but I chose to leave it on top of the box because it's uh, the easiest way to access it when you're uh, out in the field. So the thing I had to do was I had that box centered on the winch, which is centered on the bumper. And it wasn't working because of that center brace that was coming down was uh, interfering with the wiring. So I moved it a little to the left. Um, and you may have to do the same thing if you're using uh, your uh, control box on top of a winch. Um, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. Uh, I did uh, use a Factor 55 winch lock which is a really good lock that you can't put a, a wrench on or anything like that. It just makes it more difficult for a thief or numb nut to steal your, your gear. Uh, it's more of a deterrent, 
I mean, if they've got plenty of time with, uh, with tools and nobody's going to come around, yeah, they'll probably get your winch. But if they see that that factor 55 is on there and there's no way for them to get it off, they'll probably just move on because they don't want to get caught. So I would highly recommend something like that. There's also the poor man's way of doing it, which is uh, just taking a piece of uh, metal, uh, uh, steel, and just welding it to your bumper so it covers one of your, uh, one of your mounting bolts. Doing it that way, uh, if you ever need to get the winch off, all you need to do is just take an angle grinder and just grind the weld and just take the piece of metal right back off again. That way uh, is probably better in the sense that nobody's even going to attempt it once they see that. So moving on, uh, you can see how I ran the wiring for the, uh, for the winch. Uh, I ran it along the back there uh, and, and zip tied everything nice and neat and just ran it right up the side uh, there. There's an area there that's leading up and just went right to the batteries. Uh, the wiring was the perfect length to reach the battery, so uh, that was pretty easy to do. And uh, once again, you'll see where that uh, control box is kind of shifted to uh, one side of that center brace. Um, the next step would have been, I had videotaped it, I didn't realize uh, I had uh, lost battery power, is to modify your OEM bumper, which is pretty simple. You just take the bumper apart. Um, there's a silver portion on the lower half of the, uh, of the center of the bumper. That silver portion is held in with a couple of screws and some uh, clamps. And you just pull it away from there and you have a black piece that mirrors that center silver piece on the bottom. And then you just take a uh, uh, angle grinder or something and you just cut off the bumper. And the instruction says, says where to do it, but basically it's on that, uh, those, vertical, uh, those vertical points on the bumper that just come down. Uh, those are the points where you want to do it. Now... I cut mine off uh, dead even and it fits perfect and it looks good. What I did was is I followed the instructions advice and I backed it off about a half an inch away from where I'm supposed to cut it with the angle grinder and then I went and I nicely took my time and cut it with a, a very sharp razor and that actually uh, made it look nice and neat. However, um, Look at your bumper, if you're doing an FJ, look at your bumper, uh, your new off-road, uh, U.S. off-road bumper. Look at your, uh, the bumper, your OEM bumper that you're putting back on and kind of see if, if where you can leave maybe a little bit of a lip on it to where it will catch behind the U.S. off-road bumper. I think that if you do it that way, it actually might hold it in a lot better, make it look good, but make it to where you can get it around it, not too big, but just enough to where it holds that lip back there and keeps it in place. I can pull mine out of place if I yank on it, but I've been driving it around now for about uh, three or four days and it's not coming back out and I cut mine's dead even, but I kind of thought after I did it that it would be uh, beneficial to maybe leave a little tiny bit of a lip there and then it'll kind of hold it in place a little better. After that's all in, you've got it all wired up, you've got your winch tested, uh, you've got your cable back onto your winch. Um, you want to go ahead and put your bumper, uh, OEM bumper back on uh, the way you took it off. Uh, I always say take pictures, make notes, anything like that. You can come back and look at the video and see where I was pointing out where you were taking your connection points off. Keeping in mind that uh, the ones that run along the bottom, uh, a lot of those you don't have anymore because you cut that piece of the bumper, the OEM bumper, right off. So uh, that's one of the things you want to point out. So just finishing up here, you'll see uh, 
uh, where I was waiting for stuff to dry and everything paint and I put that bumper back on in the evening and uh, you can see where uh, it all came out and uh, it looks uh, really good I like the way it came out I really love that US off-road bumper uh, that you can get at usoffroad.com I also uh, uh, got the uh, factor 55 winch lock I got that from uh, four wheel parts in Red Deer uh, and uh, got that on and uh, everything came out pretty good so I hope you enjoy this video and uh, I hope this helps out a lot of guys out there trying to put on uh, uh, aftermarket equipment on their FJs. I hope this will uh, uh, be beneficial to somebody who might have some questions or anything in regards to US off-road bumpers. And uh, thanks and we'll see you as my journey continues. Have a good one.